Hi everyone, welcome to another webinar. This time we'll be talking about using MindGenie Slider in SharePoint. I'm Claudia, your moderator, and I'm here with João. Hello. For the agenda, uh, these webinars are free, ongoing, and always updated. They will be recorded and available online. You should interact with us in the question panel and on Twitter using MindGenie webinar hashtag. For the agenda, now we have first, what is the Bind Union Slider? Second, where do you can get the code? Three, slider structure. Four, add the slider in the main content zone. Five, add the slider in the banner zone. Six, add the slider inside of a content editor web part. And seven, create new styles for the slider. João will pick it up now. Hi everyone, to start I will explain you what is uh, the bind tuning slider and how it is provided with our Office 365 themes and SharePoint themes. The slider it's a widget uh, based on the bootstrap carousel and it allows you to show images, text and videos um, in an infinite loop in your web page. Currently it is provided as HTML and JavaScript and this means that we don't have any web part um, that you can use to add the slider to your page. The slider needs to be added by hand um, and needs to be coded uh, to be rendered in your website. You can get the code from our website, uh, from the theme website, the same where you did all the theme customizations. Um, there you will find all the necessary codes uh, to add the slider to your, to your site. If you go to widgets and then sliders, you will see a few examples of the slider. And below each slider, you have a link, a view code link. And if you click in the view code, you will get all the code that you need to reproduce this exact same slider. To understand better the slider, I will explain you the HTML structure and to start, um, I will show you the main uh, wrapper um, for the slider. This is where um, you will put all the, the slider code, everything needs to go inside of this div. Um, and the key point here, it's the ID. This must be unique in your, in your page. Um, because if you want to add more than one slider in the same page, um, if you have two sliders with the same ID, you will be able to, to control both sliders um, individually. The item meets the slide, um, and the items also need to be wrapped around uh, a div, in this case with the CSS class carousel inner. Um, inside of the carousel inner we have two items so this means that we have two sliders and the first slide um, have this has this active class and this means that this is the first slide to be shown uh, when the slider is loaded and also tells the slider that it's that it's the active slider when we, when the slider rotates um, this active class will change from the first to the second and then it will it will go back to the first again um, the caption it's optional um, and it is uh, the text that you can put on top of the images um, it needs to be wrapped around um, a div with the class carousel caption and inside of this you can use addings you can use regular text, you can use links, you can use buttons, or other HTML structure that you want to use inside of the, the slider. The controls um, let you navigate um, in your slider. You can navigate between the sliders with these this controls, um, and they have the reference to the slider ID, the same ID that we defined in the main wrapper div. 
The indicators are optional, and again, they have the reference to the ID of the slider, and this lets you know um, what is the active slider and the active slide, and what is the position of the slide in the in the slider. Now let's see how we can add the slider to a regular SharePoint website. First thing you have to do uh, on SharePoint or Office 365 is edit your your site and open the HTML editor. And to do that, you need to edit, uh, click the Format Text tab, and then add in the Edit Source button. And this will open um, the HTML editor um, where you can put all the code for the slider. Let's see how we how we do this. Edit this site. Select the zone where you want to add the slider. Click in the edit source. And for this zone, I will use a code that I already have prepared for this session. And as you can see, I have my carousel ID, and it is referenced in the indicators and in the controls. Copy the code. Go back to the browser. Save the page. And our slider is, is ready. To add the slider to the banner zone, and the banner zone is a specific zone um, for the, the, um, the slider that we include in our themes. And in this particular theme, it is located uh, below the menu. Um, to add the slider to that zone, we need to wrap the entire code around this special div with the CSS class move to slider zone. And we need to do this because SharePoint just have um, a main content zone, a zone there you can edit using the, the SharePoint um, editor tools, so we need to add this to move the slider, and this will be moved once you save the page. Let's see um, where it's the final result. Once again, I will edit the page. Select the area where the slider is, edit source, and let's add this div to the code. It will wrap the entire slider code. And once you close the editor, you will not notice um, any difference in the slider. It will stay in the same position. Uh, but once we save this, it will be moved to the banner zone. And if you edit the, um, the page again, um, it will be moved again to the main content zone where you can edit um, the slider. You can also add a slider to a content editor web part, and this can be useful um, if you want to if you want to separate the slider code from the rest of the the page um, content. If you want later to delete um, the slider, the only thing you have to do is delete the web part, um, and the slider will be deleted. 
Um, to do this, you can add a content editor web part to your SharePoint site, edit um, the web part, and put the slider code inside of the web part. Once again, I will edit um, the site. And this time, I will add the slider to the bottom of the, the page. Click in the Insert tab, Web Part. Medium Content and Content Editor. Add. Edit the web part. And now I can click here to add new content to this web part. Click in the Edit Source button. Let's add a new slider to the, to the page. Because this is inside of a web part, you can remove the, the title of the web part, you can remove the Chrome, or you can change the title and add a new title for the slider. Let's um, change the title for this one. just need to save the page and I will have two different sliders um, in the same website. The last thing that I want to talk about is how you can combine other bootstrap elements with the with the bind tuning slider to create um, unique and new um, styles um, and new layouts for your slider. In this particular case, we will show you how you can um, create a new layout using the bootstrap grid. Um, I will not explain how the bootstrap grid, and if you want to know more about it, you can watch our webinar um, video about bootstrap. Basically, what I did here was define a bootstrap grid inside of um, the item of the slider. And this way, I, can, I have uh, four images, um, and I will show you how the code looks compared with the other slider. I have the code for this custom um, slider layout. And inside of my item, um, I have a bootstrap grid system with three columns, and each column have, has um, a specific image and the caption. Let's see how it looks applied to the SharePoint site. Here is um, the custom layout, and the last thing I want um, to reference is that I can control um, the sliders individually because 
all of them have unique uh, IDs. If you want to know more about the slider or if you have any question about it, um, you can contact us through our support, support at pinetuning.com or you can contact me directly um, at drone at pinetuning.com. Okay, thank you for attending this webinar and uh, stay tuned for the upcoming webinars and bye. Bye.